So the learning objective that I've chosen from our final overview will be uh, chapter 19, which is discuss three hypotheses proposed to explain why mental practice is effective. And why is mental practice effective? Well, there are three hypotheses that will support that. First one being the neuromuscular hypothesis, second one being the brain activity hypothesis, and last but not least, and the third one being is the cognitive hypothesis. And uh, we're first gonna go into what the neuromuscular hypothesis is. And essentially it says that EMG recordings show muscle activity during mental practice, and the body is receiving some stimulation despite no physical movement. So let's say I'm using mental practice and imagery to imagine myself doing a sport specific or skilled movement, or let's say I'm imagining myself doing an exercise the muscles and the muscle groups that are being involved in that activity, uh, will the EMG recordings will show that those muscles will actually receive just some stimulation despite you know me not doing the actual physical movement of what I'm imagining. So even though I'm not doing the actual physical movement that I'm imagining or using imagery or mental practice to do, that um, the muscle groups and the muscles that are involved in that activity despite no movement will show some stimulation when I'm using that mental imagery. So that's a neuromuscular hypothesis. So if I'm imagining myself doing an action, if I'm not physically performing it, as long as I'm using mental practice, the muscles in that activity will show stimulation through EMG recordings. And for the brain activity hypothesis, uh, brain activity during imagery is similar to the actual is similar to the activity during actual performance. So areas in our brain light up similar to in-game performance situation. So similar to the neuromuscular hypothesis, instead our brain is showing activity similar to if we were in the actual performance situation. So if I'm imagining myself doing a certain um, movement in a game, that area of my brain that lights up while doing the movement in the game will also light up when um, Will also light up during imagery so yeah and the last one is cognitive hypothesis it helps uh, learners answer what to do questions that are common during the initial stage of learning so uh, if i'm imagining myself let's say again in another in-game situation and i encounter a problem uh, i can imagine the problem in my head and imagine different uh, problem solving scenarios and despite me not actually encountering those physically the cognitive hypothesis says that uh, it helps answer those what to do questions so when i actually encounter that physical experience my brain would have already thought of you know cognitive solving problems to help solve that situation so yeah those are the uh three hypotheses that explain why mental practice is effective being the neuromuscular the brain activity and last but not least the cognitive hypothesis